Hey guys, what's up? So, somebody asked a question. I don't know if they so much asked a question as far as we're making a comment. I don't remember. But basically, what they said they had a... Well, I should have just gone back and looked at the actual question that I could have read it. Or the concern or whatever it was. But basically, what they were saying is that if they have their AR-15, right, and it is locked to the back, right, okay, that if they hit the back of it, hit down here hard enough, that the bolt will go home all by itself. Something like this. There you go. Now the bolt came home. He was kind of concerned about it, or he seemed kind of concerned about it. Somebody else chimed in, and I don't remember if they answered the question of exactly why it happened. I kind of chimed in and said that mine uh, would do the same thing. I didn't go into the detail of exactly why it happens, but it's no big deal. Okay, so this is just a kind of a clarification. This is a shorter video on that. Just clarification of why actually that happens and for example like I just showed you this is a shorter buffer tube okay this is a regular standard size buttstock but the buffer tube is shorter okay so on a shorter buffer tube it'll do it okay on a whew, blind myself on a rifle length okay my mark 12 on a rifle length it'll do it on a let's see what else we got a standard carbine length. This is my Colt. Standard carbine length. It'll do it. On. I will try my best and explain it. Okay? So basically, what happens, and you probably all know this, but I'm going to explain it anyway. When you have on your magazine back here, right, you got this little cutout. Okay, I don't care what kind of magazine you have, it's going to have something like this. And now you have a follower, you see the follower goes down? Okay, this little piece right here that moves, okay, that's the follower. When you have bullets in here, that piece is not up, so this big whole area is cut out. That's my finger, that's really light, okay? So, there you go, and you see that a little bit better, okay? When you have bullets in here, that's empty, all right? When that is empty, when that is empty your magazine catch, bolt catch, whatever you want to call it, is, is down, right? Okay. Well, when, whenever that follower comes up, it raises your bolt catch. So when your bolt comes back, like this, well, I'm going to try to get it and not be too shaky, but when your bolt comes back, it's going to catch on that, right? Because the bolt... Sorry. The bolt tries to go forward, but when this goes up, see how it goes up? It stops the bolt. Right? Okay. So when this is up, when this is up, like this, and the bolt stops, it pushes against here, that's what is that's what your bolt is hitting against when it's locking up. So when you lock your bolt open, you're pushing that paddle on the side. And it's lock. It's put. It's giving. It's giving a resistance. It's giving a surface for your bolt face, or not bolt face, but the bolt to push up against and stop it. Okay. So, whenever you slap this on the ground, or if you slap it real hard, sometimes it'll work. There you go. If you slap back here real hard, basically all you're doing. And this is why it wouldn't work with the magazine, because with the magazine it was pushing. It had consistent pressure on that bolt catch going up. All right, but when you smack the back of your buffer tube or your buttstock or whatever and it pushes down, you compress that spring, the recoil spring. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. I'll try to get it in there. You compress it just enough. Do you hear that? That you release the pressure. Here, I'll do it on this side. When you push it, watch the, uh, watch the bolt catch. Maybe you saw it, maybe you didn't. But all you got to do is relieve enough pressure for that bolt catch to go back down, and then there's nothing holding your bolt back, so your bolt goes home. So it's just it's just inertia, I guess is what would be the law, law of inertia or whatever, that when you hit your bus stock on the ground, your bolt and your, uh, and your buffer and stuff have enough weight that they push down just enough, because they keep trying to go, going down, your bolt catch goes your bolt catch is released and your bolt just goes home. So there's nothing wrong with your gun. Alright, if if you have an AR-15, 
Some other guns may do that. I don't know. Um, they might. I don't know. But if, if they work the same manner, I'm get only guessing that they would. But AR-15s and those kind of guns, don't be worried if, you're, if it's doing that. If you lock your bolt open and then you set it down and it smacks and it goes home, you don't have to smack it very hard now. All right? It, it just takes a little bit. See? Just a little bit, because all it's got to do is overcome that little, Just it just has to move ever so slightly, just so slightly, and then that bolt catch will fall back down and your bolt will go home. So I hope that was helpful, a quick little little video on that. Hope it explained it. Uh, for anybody that didn't know, if you already knew this, then you're like, wow, that was a waste of five minutes, six minutes, whatever. But anyway, hope that was helpful. Y'all be good, you be safe. I appreciate you support, and we'll see you in the next video.